To use the SPD-151 video decoder to monitor the occupancy monitoring application, such as a public view monitor, go to the web page of the decoder, go to video wall, and we're gonna create a wall. I'm gonna do a one by one. You can create a one by one to have each monitor individually, and you repeat that three times. If you want to be able to control the different monitors together, you can do a one by three or three by one or other combinations. And then you can drag the HDMI or VGA or analog out to that wall to associate them. Then on the layout page, you'll select the layout you want. So for example, a one by one to display the occupancy monitoring full screen. You may also want a two by one to display the camera side by side to the occupancy monitor. Then on the bottom under camera, click the add button to add a new camera. By default, it's gonna search the network. Uh, you can select your camera and enter in the username and the password if you wanna view the video from that camera. But first, I'm gonna start with the occupancy monitoring the application. You're gonna to go to manual, you're gonna select RTSP, and then you're gonna put in the RTSP string. That can be found in the manual of the occupancy monitoring application. You also need to put in the port number, which I have right here, 3128, 3128. So it's the, it's RTSP, colon slash slash the IP address, colon 3128 slash occupancy monitoring with a capital O and capital M slash media dot SMP. You put in the username and password. Again, this is, can all be found in the manual for the occupancy monitoring application on the website. Go ahead and hit OK. It's gonna save that and test the communications. And then you can confirm that. Then you can take the camera stream there and you can edit it if you want to give it a different name. So let's call this occupancy one RTSP or whatever we want to call it and save that. Then we have my layout on the screen then you can drop and drag it to the position on the layout that you want. I would also recommend that you hit save at the bottom of the screen. You can also create your own custom layouts on the layout tab if you want. If you want to be sequencing through cameras, there's an option to do wall sequence on the top right after you create those layouts. If you want to add your camera to view the video side by side or to sequence through them, I'll show you that. We go to, again, the add, the plus sign. It goes to the automatic camera registration. It's going to search your network. If for some reason you can't search, then you can always go to manual. I'm going to choose my AI camera here. Select ID and password. Put in my admin username and password. Hit OK, then hit connection test, and it comes back successful. It finds both channels. We'll hit OK to save that. If you only wanted one channel or the other, you can select just those if you want. And then on the left-hand side under camera, you'll see the list of my new cameras are there. Again, I can add or delete different ones if I want. And I can then take the one that I want and drop and drag it to my layout. They will now be displaying on that monitor out. In this example, you can see I'm doing HDMI and VGA are mirrored together. And so I'm good to go. You can also edit the camera entry and choose which profile is used for a high and low video stream. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.